Hey friends, I want to give you some quick power tips on how to deal with difficult people at the holidays. Who has some of those relationships that require a little extra grace and extra little tolerance? Who has going to be around people who might irritate you, make you angry, try and control you? Maybe you've had a bad past with them. Let's be honest. The holidays are full of friends and families that we have to get together with that we don't always want to. Sometimes we just have to be with them. So how do you go through the holidays with peace? How do you root out mental triggers to release peace? And how do you tolerate people that seem kind of untolerable? Well, as Christians, we can do this. And I want to encourage you right now, before I get into this brief teaching, to pre-order my book, Mind Battles, Root Out Mental Triggers to Release Peace. This is going to be hitting the shelves in just a couple weeks. Guys, if you order it now, it's going to come in time. So when you're done with the holidays, you can dive right into getting healed from the holidays. All right. But how do we deal with those people that are irritating, that we got to be around, that we really don't have a strong, tight relationship? One, Remember, you're fighting a principality, a demon, not the person. Love the person, dislike the principality. Separate the person who you love, who you used to be in a good relationship with, who you know is a good person from the principality that's operating through them. Two, set boundaries. You're allowed to have boundaries. You're called to be a peacemaker, but not a doormat. It is okay to have good, healthy boundaries. It's okay to say no. It's okay to remove yourself from a situation. And it's honestly, it's okay to just say, you know what? It's not going to be emotionally, spiritually healthy for me to go to this gathering, this holiday party, this family event you can put up some good, healthy perimeters. All right. And so yes, guard your heart. Three, close your mouth. Don't speak everything you're feeling. Okay. Don't sit there and argue with people. Don't disagree. Don't get into a debate about things. When you do that, again, you're wrestling with a demon. Their demon is just going to arise within them and it's going to fight back at you, even if you're being nice. And so just be silent, be discerning, be slow to speak. Ask the Holy Spirit, can I say this? And if the Holy Spirit says, shut up, don't say that, don't release that, then don't, guys. Okay, we don't want to do that. Four, be in prayer. Pray on the way to that gathering. Worship on the way to that gathering. Get so filled up with the Holy Ghost that you bust their demons right out, that their demons just manifest out and they get delivered, not in a fight with you, but they get delivered because you have so much Holy Spirit in you. Yes, that's possible. I have physically seen it happen. I came back one time from four days of just praying, worshiping, being in the glory of God, and all of a sudden someone's demons just started manifesting out for like two hours. Now, I'm not saying that that's what you want to happen at your Christmas party, but I'm saying, guys, get so full of the glory of God that their demons are uncomfortable in your presence. You don't have to be uncomfortable in their presence. All right. Pray and worship. And I'm even going to say, anoint yourself. If you have to go and anoint your lips, anoint your eyes, anoint your head, you know, anoint yourself and be like, okay, what am I putting in my eyes? What am I putting in my eye gates and my ear gates? What am I allowing to be released in my mouth? What am I thinking in my mind? Just anoint yourself as a physical way of consecrating yourself and setting yourself apart for God, for his uses. Friends, unfortunately, we have to be around difficult people. Why? Because we're the light. But we should not be uncomfortable. We should not be intimidated. We should not be angry in their presence. They should be uncomfortable because there's so much of God in us that they are feeling convicted. But the biggest thing I want to say, guys, is don't fight with them. Don't wrestle with them. Don't try and reason with them because most of the time it's a demon manifesting out of them, okay? And you're not going to win that battle. You know that he said, she said, I didn't say that. You did that. You did that. You're not going to win 
the battle. Get in a place of peace, guys. Get in a place of peace. And I'm not kidding. You got to root out these mental triggers. We all have mental triggers in us that set things off. This book is full of like generational curses, words, you know, stress, anxiety, depression, fear, torment, trauma, all those things. What are those triggers? What sends you off? But even more guys, this is a workbook to deliverance. Why not start your new year getting your mind freedom? And I tell you, I don't know about you, but I know there's been seasons and times and areas where I've been like, man, I just need a people break. And when you are, let me tell you a secret right here. Are you ready? This is going to be great revelation for some of you. When you are a prophetic person, you have a tolerance of people. Okay. And so why we're with people, why we're ministering and stuff, it's good. We love people, but then we need to retract, retreat to fill up so we can go out again. It's the same way with you. Okay. When you're around family, friends, you're pouring out, maybe you're ministering, maybe you're trying to give a testimony or something. Maybe you're trying to win them to the Lord. Maybe you're trying to show them the goodness of God. But then when we get away from people, we need to go back and retreat. And that's why some Sometimes the holidays are so hard because prophetic people need to be retreating. And when you have this gathering and this function and this party and this event, you can't go back and retreat and you get people overload. It's because our prophetic brain can only process so much information at a time. And then we need to go and refill and be with the father. Let me tell you that your friends, your family, they're not like you. You're unique. Okay. I know the people that are watching this. I know the people on my Facebook. I know the people on my YouTube. You're a prophetic generation. You're called to be different. Your friends, your family, they're not going to understand you. And so don't fight with them. Don't argue with them. Just be loved. Keep your mouth quiet. Just stay in the presence of God. Get so filled up on the presence of God that they can't touch your emotions. Amen. Come on. Someone give me a shout out. Say amen. Hallelujah. Kathy, I needed this. Type something in the chat. Do me a favor, guys. Share this with your friends because you know what? It might be when you share this that one of your family members that you're going to be hanging out with sees it and then might be like, oh, maybe I better be quiet. Maybe I better shut my mouth. And then you're not going to get retribution from the enemy because they shut their mouth. But guys, I cannot encourage you enough. I learned how to conquer mind battles. I want to teach you how every time I pray for the mind battles, I just am overwhelmed with emotion, with tears, because I know the Holy Spirit wants you free. Go grab your copy, Mind Battles, Amazon, Barnes & Nobles. You can get it at Kathy DeGraw Ministries, wherever you get your book. I tell you, we're going to be working through this together. So you want to get it. So as I do these Facebook and YouTube lives, you can be there and be like, okay, yep, I got this homework assignment. I'm going to do this. Let's walk through the deliverance process together. And your first test is going to be guarding your mind this week as you spend time with your fam and friends. Guys, I love you so much. Have a great night. God bless you.